Hey coach, welcome back to my podcast. If you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Every single week, we're putting out content to help you with your sports training business. So don't stay stuck and make sure you like and subscribe the video. And if you want to get my help one-on-one, if you're currently a business owner, your business is set up legally, you've got anywhere between uh, 10 to 15 clients that you're working with and you're looking for ways to grow and scale to the next level, to charge more for your service, to package the the service differently where you can add more value so you can charge more, uh, setting contracts in place with current customers and ensuring that you're getting customers on a regular basis If you need help with any of those four things, areas of business, that is something that our company are specialists at. It's something that I've been helping coaches with since 2001. So if this is you, if you're stuck at the moment, don't be stuck. Visit the description below this video. There will be a link where you can book a free 25-minute one-on-one call with me. Now, once you apply for that call, Right, I'll go through your application and I'll see whether you are uh, qualified in order to get onto that call. So even if you apply, doesn't mean you automatically will speak to me. I'll go through your application to see if you are the right fit, essentially, to work together. The reason why I'm quite strict with the process is because I like to protect my time. And to be very blunt, there are a lot of coaches that do waste my time. There, there's a lot of coaches that time waste that aren't serious about growing and scaling. So even if they do apply for the program or apply to speak with me, I do have a strict process in place where I don't accept anyone to speak with me. Okay, So if you do need help, you do want to apply, you feel that, you know what, I'm in a position now, I'm working with anywhere between 10 to 15 clients. I've got a business legally set up. I've got a business ready. You know, I want to invest to get to get in help, to take my business to, to the next level, right? Reach out to me, visit the description below to apply for a call with me. Now, what I have in front of me is a email that I sent out a couple of weeks ago to my email list. So if you aren't subscribed to my email list, Right, you can do so by visiting a description below. It'll take you straight through to a landing page where you can put in your email and you can subscribe to my email, a newsletter that I put out on a weekly basis. The purpose of this newsletter is to help coaches who currently have businesses to expand, to grow, to get more clients, to charge more. And to transition from a paper session model into something a bit more uh, a bit more sustainable, a bit better, and a model where you can keep clients for longer. So if you want to subscribe to the newsletter description below, there will be a link. Visit the, the link, click on it, it'll take you to a landing page. All you have to do is put in your email address and you will be subscribed to my. Uh, email newsletter. So this is an email that I sent out to the coaches on the list. This was about a couple of weeks ago, right? And basically I was sharing with the audience uh, the reasons why you want to work with high paying clients, right? And the benefits that you will have once you work with high paying clients. So a lot of the time coaches that want to work with me or start working with me, a lot of them make the big and difficult transition from paper session charging small amounts for their training sessions to charging more, higher fees, premium prices, and making their program more exclusive and something which is more of a long-term commitment for the customers. So I'll give you a very brief summary of my, my background. So when I started my academy, I was charging anywhere between 10 to 15 uh, pounds, okay, because I was I'm in the UK. So I was charging very little for one-on-one training. 
Now, what I started to realize is, yes, I was getting so many clients, but I was working so many hours and I was only making a very little amount of money. So I was getting tired a lot easier. I was getting burnt out. It got to Sunday and I was there thinking, oh, wow, I've got to do this all over again. OK, now I made the transition to groups because it got to one week where I uh, it was the start of summer. I, I had anywhere between 30 to 35 sessions. I can't remember how much it, how many exactly it was, but it was something ridiculous along those lines. I was working with 30 to 35 one on one clients. I got to Sunday and I was like, right, I can't do this anymore. I'm burnt out. I can't do another week of this. So I had to make a change in my business. And the change was make my business more expensive and transition all my one-on-one -on -one clients into groups or small groups. So that's essentially what I did. And once I started working with clients who started to pay me more for my services, a couple of things started to happen, right? Um, everything became a li little bit more simpler, right? I, I improved in, in terms of my confidence. I felt a lot more valued from my clients. I felt my program was a lot more valuable to the players I was working with. And even though my services was expensive, I was still getting demand. I was still getting parents that were reaching out, wanting to train and work with me. So even though I transitioned from being very cheap to being one of the most expensive uh, trainers in my area, that didn't stop me getting new customers. It didn't stop me getting more inquiries, getting more demand for my services, right? Now, what that resulted in is, if you have a look on the screen here in front, okay, I've made a couple of bullet points. So what happened when I started charging more for my private training? I started to earn more money working with fewer clients. So I transitioned all my customers into groups. So I went from 30 one on one sessions to essentially three group sessions. OK, because I was working at, at the time I was running three groups of 10 players. Okay, So I was working with the exact same amount of players, but they were paying me more and I was training less during the week, which allowed me to work more on the business rather than in the business. Um, the next one is I was earning anywhere between five to 10K per month working with 30 and sometimes less customers on a monthly basis. OK, so I had a subscription model in place. I had a model where parents were paying me every single month. And it was consistent training, right? The training was set day, set time every single week. And parents were being billed on a monthly basis. But also they had a contract that they signed before joining my group sessions. Okay, so I was work, I was earning more money than I was doing one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I was working with fewer customers. And also I didn't have to make so many sales per month. OK, because I made it a goal. Right. If I work with 30 customers and I charge those 30 customers this amount, this is the amount I want to make. So essentially, I did the maths. The maths make sense. And I went with it, which means I only need to make an extra four to 10 sales calls per month to stay within that 30 customer uh, mark. Next one was I could choose who I wanted to work with and who was the best customers to work with. So when I was charging cheap, yes, I got a lot of demand for my training. I got a lot of interest, but a lot of the time, the people that wanted to train with me weren't very serious. They weren't people that were, were looking for longer term results. And they weren't people that were looking to invest big amounts of money to get bigger amounts of results okay so essentially i made the process really strict where same same way i do with coaches now uh, i started to filter out the ones that aren't serious the ones that were time wasters and the ones that were just shopping around and i was able to work 
and choose who I wanted to work with. And I only worked with the best clients. Okay. Uh, next one, high paying clients uh, typically achieve better and faster results with you. Okay. The more customers invest with you, the more they're going to show up every week, the more they're going to get better and the better results they will get because they will want to work hard. They will want to take in your advice. Okay. If there's a customer out there that's willing to invest anywhere between two to 5K with you per month, right? The chances are they will get great results with your training, okay? They will want to do exactly what you want, right? The next one is they tend to stay longer and more willing to invest in additional high-end services like one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one training. So even though I had a lot of customers that were training in my small group uh, program, some of those that were still investing high amounts of money wanted to do the one-on-one -on -one training as well. So on a regular basis that I had players that wanted that extra training because they were enjoying the experience. They wanted that extra more personalized attention where they, where they could work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So what I did was I offered additional services that were a premium. So one-on-one -on -one training, and two-on-one -on -one training was what I offered. So I went from offering just small groups back now to offering one-on-one -on -one training, but making it very exclusive where if they wanted to do it, they could, but it was a higher investment than what I was charging at the beginning where, where I was very cheap and I was working with a lot more customers. Uh, and then the next one, they often send high quality referrals your way. So that is very true. And parents who not normally and typically invest high amounts of money with you, get great results, enjoy the experience, will talk about your business. They will talk about your coaching. They will, talk, they will talk about you. So what you will see is that they will start to refer like-minded customers your way. OK, and that's great because if you're training someone that's willing to invest that amount, typically the parents that do have that money are willing to invest, hang around with parents of that same type of uh, level as well. So you could get some fantastic referrals. Now, that doesn't mean necessarily mean that those referrals have to be a high end type of client but they might be referrals that join your more affordable option, which might be a camp or clinic that you might run once a month, okay? So those are the benefits with uh, charging higher fees for your sessions and working with higher paying clients. Now, if you have a look at the bottom, I put charging too little for your sports training business can jeopardize your your company in general right so charging too little for your training can put your business at risk okay so it can put you at risk from failing it can put you at risk of attracting less desirable customers like i was working with at the beginning those ones that just wanted to do the one-off session they wanted to just shop around they wanted to just try it out and they didn't want to be a customer long term with me Okay, so those are the less desirable uh, customers that you want to work with. And then the next one, you, you start to invite stress and frustration into both your business and your personal life as well. Because when you start working with customers that are very difficult, okay, that, that, can, bring a, that can bring with you a lot of stress, unwanted stress, stress that you don't need in your life. So if you're working with customers that are a more higher paying invest in more, more quality, they are more committed, they want to stick with you for longer, okay, those are the ones that essentially are going to be better because they're going to give you less stress because they trust you, they like you, they want to invest with you, and again, you become less frustrated because you don't feel like you're, you're, you're charging so little for high quality service. Okay, at the beginning when I was working with so many customers, I was like, right, I've got a fantastic training company, but I feel like I'm not making enough money because I'm charging so little for my training. 
Okay, so if this is you, if this is what you feel like, if you feel like your business is at risk, if you feel like you're attracting the wrong customers, if you feel like you're getting frustrated, you're you're working with customers, but you don't know how to charge more, you don't know how to package your service, you don't know how to put customers on contracts, reach out to me. Okay, visit the description below. There'll be a number of ways that you can reach out to me to get my one-on-one -on -one help and see if we are a good fit to work together. Okay, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.